Hi, Internet friends. It's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm working in Chief Architect Premier version X13 because my client is using uh, X13 currently, so that's what we're going with. Uh, we'll talk about a couple differences in past versions but and uh, the X14 version, but uh, I want to show you how to get a door that looks like this with the six uh, grids, six lights here, four panel, four vertical panels, when in our uh, libraries we've only got this version here. Uh, so let's get started uh, right now. So this is the door that I'm going to start with from our Chief Architect uh, core libraries here in their carriage house style CHD07. Um, it's really not set up as a double car door here. Um, it works uh, quickly, but I want to show you how we can get it to work as a double car door like this. Uh, I'm going to start off with a new plan. Uh, just for just for the sake of this and I'm going to drop in this garage door uh, like so and if I were working on past versions I think x11 and previous when I um, to create this object I would have to delete surfaces in order to export this as a uh, symbol so I would change this as a this wall type uh, to do like a frame three and a half only. And, and that's just because there's only one layer to delete as I'm going through here. Um, I'm also going to open this uh, garage door and change the jam and remove it. Remove the uncheck this has jam. Uh, that helps in both the previous versions and the new version uh, because either case in the previous versions that means less surfaces that I have to delete in this version I only want the door panel itself now I'm going to look at the elevation and I'm going to draw a uh, polyline solid in X13 it's still called a polyline solid in X14 it's just a 3d solid um, I'm going to start off here and draw something in the middle. As I'm dragging, I hit the tab key and I'm going to make it just one inch tall. Let's, uh, that's fine. Let's take a section here and look at it this way. As you can see with my shape, this bevel and this bevel, this here in the middle is the glass. So that's, um, I want an exterior version and an interior version so that I can keep the separate um, material colors. I'm going to select this 3D solid here and move this over. As I'm tabbing, I'm going to go minus half an inch, and that's fine for the purposes that I have now. Actually, I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this over that 1 16th like that. That's great. Now in plan view, I'm going to do a selection. And I'm right here, I'm in the um, con select contained objects mode so that I only select that uh, object there. And I'm going to copy this and do a point-to-point -point move from this edge to this edge so that when I look at my uh, section of the door, I've got the two um, options here. And from right here, I could select this interior um, material, paint that, select the exterior material, paint that grid, and let's do a quick overview so that you can see on the exterior side we've got the grid on the interior side we've got the white grid and that's fine 
I can close this section and actually close that elevation. And I'm going to select both of these grids now and copy about the center of the door. And let's just take a quick look at that. So this is looking great here, interior and exterior. If you were in, I think it's X11 or earlier, you would have to delete these surfaces and now you could export this as a symbol. I don't have to do that any longer. I'm just going to, um, still in my select contained objects mode, I'm going to select all five of these objects, the four grids and the door itself, and export this using the um, edit toolbar down here, convert selected to symbol. I've got five objects selected, and I'm going to export them uh, to not to the library because I need to take this symbol and double it before I turn it into a door. Um, and I don't want to really clutter up my library with just random uh, objects. So I'm going to make this a fixture and not add it to the library and just drop it out here. Now let's take a uh, camp. Look at our view here. I've got the symbol object. I could just delete this um, wall and door and, and grills, but I, I don't need to um, because I'm not exporting them. If you're exp doing the tool um, symbol convert to symbol, you would want to delete all the extraneous stuff. Now I take this symbol, copy it about my point to point move. I'm going to take that corner to that corner. And that is looking like the door that I actually want. Once again, I'm going to select both of these objects and use this child uh, tool down here, this edit toolbar, convert selected to symbol. In this case, I do want this to be converted to a door and I do want to add it to the library and I want to show advanced options. I'm going to call this the carriage house, door, two, car, and go into materials. All the other options right now I don't need to update or change. Auto is fine. Materials. Materials is where I want to do it. I want to change things. Um, color bone is the interior, uh, interior side, and color slate is the exterior side. So I'm going to Click on this color bone once, and then click again to change this. So interior, click on color slate once, and click again. Exterior, click on the glass standard, and click again. And I'm just going to delete the standard. So the interior, by default, has a bone color bone material. The exterior, by default, has a color slate. And the glass, by default, has glass standard uh, texture applied to it. When I click OK, I've already done this once, uh, but here's the uh, door that we just created. So looking at this, that looks exactly like it. Um, I just need to add a dog ear arch. Let's go back to this view here. I can click on my new two... Uh, carriage house door two car and exchange it with this model. Let's paint it white so you can see the details. And let's change this to a dog ear arch. Say 18. And that looks an awful lot like our example. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you've learned something. If you uh, like this educational information, click that like down there. I appreciate it. And as always, hit subscribe and notification bell so that you get notified each week as I drop these videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful week.